A detailed call had been made between Turkey and Russia about the current situation of zero exportation. According to previous legal co-agreement at the Black Sea, Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin announced the reasons why Russia had decided to suspend this business transaction. From the Kremlin side, they emphasized that the Kyiv mode, with the support of the West managers, has used the humanizing lobby of the Black Sea, which was created to deliver cereal from Ukraine to perform attacks on the infrastructures and vessel of the Black Sea fleet of Russia at Sevastopol. Russia wants to protect the security of the delivery performance in the mass and lines. The Kremlin declared that Russia will only reconsider and reopen the previous business transaction at the Black Sea if Kyiv follows the Istanbul Code Agreement strictly and carefully according to law, and especially not using the humanized lobby for military purpose. The President of Russia recalled the inability to perform the second session of the Orin Agreement. The ban of Russia exportation in every country products and fertilizers on the global market. On the other hand, in reality, during the existence of the agreement in three months, the task of guaranteeing the priority supply to the most struggling countries isn't being met yet. About this issue, Russia claimed to be ready to provide big source of cereals and free fertilizers to Africa. The result of the previous meeting between the President of Russia with the President of Azerbaijan and the Prime Minister of Armenia Nikon Pesinen on the last day of October at Sochi was being discussed. Turkey and Russia were continuing to talk about some topical questions of bilateral relationship with the core potential development of economic projects. During the court, Vladimir Putin one more time congratulated to recent TAE editor for their National Hope Day celebration in 29 October. Turkey and Russia also often remain in bilateral contact in many fields.